Greetings, Sagittarius, Sagittarius Sun, Sagittarius Rising, and Sagittarius Moon. Welcome to your tarot video scope for September 2019 by AMA. Please make sure that you listen for your rising sign and for your moon sign, because sometimes your messages may show up for you through your rising sign or through your moon sign. These are general readings. For those of you who would like to purchase a personal reading, please visit my website, www.amalightworker.com, and email me at amalightworker at gmail.com. For those of you who would like to know more, I have already uploaded a whole new reading for your sign with additional information. And uh, if you are interested for download and purchase, the link is posted down here below in the show more description box. Please like, share, subscribe, and remember to turn on the notification bell. We are leaving behind us uh, two sets of eclipses. The first one happened in January, February, and the second one happened in July, uh, August. All of these eclipses have a tendency, or each eclipse has a tendency to influence your life for six months, and it did brought to all of us a lot of uh, changes. The energies are still shifting. We are still under the influences of these eclipses. Therefore, an energy clearing would be beneficial for you. For that reason, I did create a package deal for you, and this offer is available to you only in the month of September, three energy clearing sessions for $150. Uh, dollars and you have the choice of uh, choosing if you want to get the sessions uh, one a week or one every other uh, week if you are interested do email me i'm a at gmail.com and of course all of this information is posted down here below in the show more description box now i will focus on this reading for you sagittarius the general feelings that i am picking up for your sign have to deal with news information or sudden new development sudden changes that are going to alter and are going to change the direction where you thought you were going for the better a lot of karmic events are going to happen or rather than anything that will happen in september it does feel that is uh, karma is meant to be but at the same time I get the sense that you are also going to be able to overcome your difficulties and positively move forward you may feel a little bit reserved when it comes to uh, money or you may feel reserved into dealing with somebody in a matter that involves money I get a birth of a child, the birth of new ideas, a new uh, direction. So that was the general feeling. Now I will, I will break this down one by one. The first card is the, the wheel. To me, it means uh, karmic good fortune. It means conflict of interest, unexpected sudden development, news or information that will change or alter the course. Uh, and it means important news or information. I get the sense that some of you are going to get a sense that you are going in a circle, okay? And it may have to deal with a family-related situation that to you, it feels like you keep going in a circle. Or the family situation, it feels like it keeps going in the same circle all over <laughs> again. For other uh, Sagittarians, I have a sense that you are waiting and maybe you are running out of patience for some kind of a circumstance related to work to come to a completion, to come to an ending, or to come to a conclusion or a decision if this is the uh, case. I get the sense that you may have to learn new ways in order for you to get what you want. You may have to expand your knowledge, expand your craft. Some of you are preparing 
for some kind of a project that you have that you are trying to expand that you may be uh, trying to expand a business that you may have you may try to expand your uh, career I have a sense that um, how people or pay attention to the interactions with people because something that somebody says or does may have a tendency to piss you off to put you off you may have a lot of questions why this person or these people did what they did or said what they said i get a sense that you are going to try to uncover something okay that is not very clear to you or you may be trying to unveil the truth about a, um, a situation. I get a sense that some of you are getting ready here to finalize uh, a deal, okay? Because there's going to be paperwork involved, filling out uh, forms. You may be dealing with contracts or possible uh, partnerships, but also you may be thinking of traveling. For some reason, uh, something from your past seems to come back to you. This could be a person from your past. You may be thinking of them. Maybe they're not returning. You just, for some reason, you may be thinking of them. But I also get a sense of some of you may be wishing to relocate in a place that is very familiar to you, maybe in a place of origin, in a place where you were born. I'm not saying that this is going to happen, but for some reason, that is going to be in your uh, mind the next card that you have is the knight of pentacles if the knight of pentacles represents a person usually it represents a capricorn a taurus or a virgo this could be the sun sign the rising sign or the moon sign on the other hand this card may also be representing you sagittarius if you happen to have your moon sign or your rising sign in capricorn taurus or virgo uh, it means slow cautious feeling reserved or more reserved to take action, wisdom to work hard, a person with a plan, with a deep plan, step by step, but maybe changes are necessary to this step by step um, plan. And sometimes this card, it also means that you take yourself more seriously than you should, or you're taking the circumstance more seriously than uh, you should. I get a sense that uh, some of you are going to be examining what is being offered to you. Somebody making could be making an offer. If you are, if you do have something on the market for sale, you could be getting an offer, but then you are not going to be too sure whether to accept this offer or not. I get a sense that. Uh, maybe your feelings may be changing around around it. Maybe you are not so sure whether to take the deal or not because your feelings may be changing about the um, uh, deal. If anybody owes you any money, I get a sense or maybe some kind of a delayed payment, something that is owned owed to you in terms of money, I get a sense that now it will be coming back to you. So... Uh, late payments, anybody who owns you money. Uh, that's the sense that um, I get. Some of you are going to feel very aware of this Knight of Pentacles. I don't know for what reason, I don't know in what circumstance you may be communicating or interacting with this Knight of Pentacles. Because for some reason, you may not be too sure about their intentions. Okay, so that's a separate uh, situation. Uh, this could be a client, this could be a co-worker, this could be a family uh, member. But for some reason, you seem to be very aware of uh, them. I get a sense that you may also be dealing with a circumstance with this Knight of Pentacles. Uh, so for some of you, it's a different situation with this Knight of Pentacles where maybe you feel that they are a little bit too immature or not ready to do something, then you're going to be very aware of uh, that. The next card that you have is the Chariot. To me, it means positively moving forward, victory, overcoming an obstacle, driving positively forward, uh, the focus of the card, 
also is on introspection, re-evaluation, decisions of passion, um, uh, confusing matters, re-examining your affairs and uh, assessing your situation. Some of you are truly going to be dealing with an assessment. Maybe, as I said, you have a property or a business or a home for sale and some kind of inspection is going to happen. You may be dealing with sudden situation in the workplace where somebody is going to come in to check on everybody. Could be a superior, could be a boss, could be somebody sent out to do an inspection, maybe from uh, the government or from the state, could be about taxes. Uh, could be about some kind of a health uh, inspection that could be taking uh, place. There's going to be a circumstance, and I get a sense that you are going to be examining the positive aspect and the negative aspect or the plus and the minus. You could be keeping track of things. You could be uh, making lists of things things because I have a sense that for some reason some of you are re getting ready to move or some of you are getting ready to move forward with some kind of a plan okay but on the other hand you may not feel too sure because again I get this sense of duality you may also be dealing with a person okay a person who, who maybe says one thing, does another thing, one, one moment they say this thing, another moment they contradict themselves. So if this is not you, you may be dealing with a person who for some reason um, has split feelings or has, uh, has this duality uh, about uh, them. I get a sense that some circumstance, a circumstance in your life will suddenly change like day and night because I'm drawing my attention here, black and white. It's literally going to go like uh, a situation is going to go like from day uh, to night, from night to day is like a total change, okay? Co a complete change to a, uh, to a situation that you are going to be dealing with in uh, September. If you are traveling, I get a sense that uh, you could be forgetful. There's something that you're going to uh, forget, but then you're going to find a way to deal with it. Or maybe, maybe you forget something and then you uh, remember and you go back to get it. I don't know what this is. I get uh, memory issues or something that you may have a tendency to uh, forget. Do look a little bit deeper in what is bothering you, not only emotionally. Uh, for some of you, maybe has nothing to do with that. Some of you are very sensitive toward energy. Maybe you're going to sense energies that are bothering you, and you're going to be doing something in terms of energies, either to shift your energy, to clear your energy, because for some of you, or even to be trained with uh, energy, because for some of you, I get uh, a sense of releasing some kind of an old energy and positively moving forward. So for some of you, you may be dealing with uh, the uh, energy, even the energy of a place where you work or the energy of a place where you live. The next card that you have is the Seven of Diamonds, and this is from the uh, Egyptian Oracle uh, deck. Um, the title of the card is The Sleeping Baby with the Toys. When you get this card, it means the birth of a child, uh, news about a child, it also means a new beginning that could be both simple and spontaneous. But at the same time, this card warns you that you may be dealing with uncertainty, a lack of experience, or even naivete when it comes to you dealing in business and in uh, love. So particularly matters of business and love at this time must be uh, dealt with confidence. It also means dealing with your inner child, connect with your inner child, because your inner child has no filter. Your inner child would never lie to you. If you have to 
decide on something, maybe you should take your time simply to reconnect with yourself, to listen to your inner voice, and then decide what to do. I get a sense that for some of you, there's going to be some kind of a good news around the birth of a child. Some of you, I get a sense that you are about to become a grandparent, an uncle, or a niece. For some of you, I also get a circumstance around a best friend uh, that either they're going to have a child being born or a grandchild being born. And as you see here, this is a boy. So maybe for some of you, this is the birth of a boy. In the light of some, some interesting news around health, I don't know what this means because they're not saying good, they're not saying bad. They're just saying interesting news around health this could be interesting news around your health somebody else's health a child's health i get a sense that so to speak maybe there's going to make you take some time off maybe you need to take care of this person who may be getting sick maybe you yourself need to take some time off or maybe for those of you who are going to be giving birth this is uh, the maternity uh, live. You're going to be forced to deal with a circumstance which maybe you have delayed dealing with, you are were not ready, because it's very uncomfortable. And I get a sense that for some of you it involves an estate, an estate settlement, a divorce settlement, a lawsuit, a payout, Okay, but I also get a sense where people are so agitated and irritated that a fight could be happening at any moment. For some of you, maybe this has to do with the circumstance in which maybe you are you feel a little bit estranged from some people, or maybe that was by choice this uh, estrangement. For some of you, either after some travels, after a move after some kind of a new beginning that you may have. Maybe it's a new beginning in love. Maybe you're going to begin something new in your career. Maybe it's a new job. Whatever new beginning you have, I have a sense that now you're going to feel like your life is going in a whole new direction, okay? You had a certain idea where your life needs to be and how certain things need to happen, but yet it turns out that you're uh, your life is going to take you in a different direction. Your solutions are going to happen in a different way. And yet you are going to be okay. I get a sense of the mid-month being very much highlighted for you. So mid-September, for some reason, it seems to be, be very much highlighted for you because I get a sense how you feel or uh, at the beginning of September, I get a sense of some sort of a shift happening toward mid-September, okay? And then I get a certain sense that then after that, you are going to be going in a place where you're going to feel more steady, more stable, more balanced, or more in, in equilibrium, or maybe your life is going to feel more, mm, more uh, steady. So I get a sense that you need to go with a wave adapt take it one step at a time take it one day at a time and be very flexible because you may have to deal with sudden uh circumstances i hope that this is making sense to you do leave me a comment down here below and if you'd like to know more i have already uploaded a whole new reading for you for download and purchase uh on vmail.com and the link for that for those of you who are interested is posted down here below in the show more description box uh, if you would like to purchase the uh, September special offer, three energy clearings for $150, email me at amalightworker at gmail.com or visit my website. Contact me if you'd like to purchase your very own private consultation. Visit my website, www.amalightworker.com or email me, amalightworker at gmail.com. Like, share, subscribe, thumbs up, and turn on the notification bell, and I will reconnect with you next time. Bye.